Everybody was going for fighting. Looking for fastest lightning. And fighting for the love of fighting. But they fought with different timing. Hi, folks, this is Jay. Hope you're okay today. Um, I made a long video on a Ronra, but uh, it's not turned out, so I'm just going to play a Ronra and then just uh, give a few comments on him. In ...category of whatever opinion you happen to hold at that time, and that it was subject to change as necessary. I didn't know that you were forbidden to change your mind by your religion. I didn't know that the religion was supposed to define who you were for the rest of your life and then on. Well, if it was a proper Christian, he would know that. He would know if you get baptized, you go down in the water, you die to self, and you arose, and you rise to Christ and give your life to him. So he didn't really know much about Christianity at the beginning. And I just came across a great many false statements, you know, and, and like what? philosophies that I couldn't side with. Like what? And then when I found like what? The, the actual requirement like and what? the nature of faith, what? I had to walk away from it. What? So, how old were you? I mean, were you a teenager? Were you a young adult? Uh, when did this turning point take place? Well, I can't. I don't know that I can call it a turning point because, as I said, I, I've, I've had what you would call religious beliefs, several different ones, but I never had a single turning point. I mean, you you have a list of claims and then you start examining them and one by one by one you weed them out and it's, so it's a process and uh, the final straw for me was I mean there was a point in my life when I used to believe all these fantastic things urban legends and, and, and the spirit photography and astral projection and all sorts of incredible claims. I mean, once upon a time when I was a kid there was no way to check into these things. You had to offer the benefit of the doubt and accept as true whatever you're being told because there's no way to prove that it is not true. Well, of course, that's backward from what it should really be. You should accept that any number of things may be possible, may even be real, and you can be open to that, but you cannot express that anything actually is real until it has been sufficiently verified or substantiated. So I was taught to have the opposite philosophy of what I actually did have, and I just couldn't reverse that. When I was told that I had to believe, that I had to make myself believe, you know, when, it, when I had to quell doubts and force belief, that's inherently dishonest. But try. I just got to say, this is just the biggest baloney baloney I've ever heard in my life. This Aronra, whoever he is, is talking through the backside. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's talking total and utter bull. He's talking total and utter bull. A decent pastor will always try and teach the congregation something about how to give an answer for the faith, a reason for the faith that is in them. There's even a text in the Bible that says give a reason for, for the faith that's within you. So, I mean, it's just total, utter nonsense. The Christian faith is based on objective historical facts. There are basic objective historical facts about Christ, who he is, his, his life, his death, and his resurrection. There are basic facts there. If there aren't facts there, then there's no point in believing in the Christian faith. Okay? So, he's just talking total and utter nonsense. I've heard him spout about Mithraism, and he hadn't a clue what he's talking about. I've heard him browbeating uh, creationists. Excuse me. And the guy, at the end of the day, is not as open-minded as he makes himself out to be. And that's my opinion, folks. What do you think? Let me know what you think.